Or we can do this the hard way. <laughs> on the Republican National Convention if we have to. But if elections in this country are halfway fair or transparent, and the grand old party supports the troops enough to listen to them, Ron Paul will be the nominee of the Republican Party. And you will be a one-term president. But if they're not, if the voice of the people is not heard, and the voice of the troops is not respected, we will be back. These veterans aren't going away.
We police our world empire with troops on 700 bases and in 130 countries around the world. A dangerous war now spreads throughout the Middle East and Central Asia. Thousands of innocent people being killed as we become known as the torturers of the 21st century. We assume that by keeping the already known torture pictures from the public's eye, we will be remembered only as a generous and good people. If our enemies want to attack us only because we are free and rich, proof of torture would be irrelevant. The sad part of all this is that we have forgotten what made America great, good, and prosperous. We need to quickly refresh our memories and once again reinvigorate our love, understanding, and confidence in liberty. The status quo cannot be maintained considering the current conditions. Violence and lost liberty will result without some revolutionary thinking. We must escape from the madness of crowds now gathering. The good news is the reversal is achievable through peaceful and intellectual means, and fortunately, the number of those who care are growing exponentially. Of course, it could all be a bad dream, a nightmare, and that I'm seriously mistaken, overreacting, and that my worries are unfounded. I hope so, but just in case, we ought to prepare ourselves for revolutionary changes in the not-too-distant future. I yield back the balance of my time.